in the last sort of 18 months, my 10 year old boy sort of got into, um, yeah, he's got into football sort of playing and uh, I've never, you know, in the last sort of 18 months, I watch, I'm watching so much football now again, you know, um, loving watching it, um, loving watching it with him, sort of taking part in his, sort of his Sunday league team, sort of coaching him and he's obsessed with it. So he's sort of reignited my love for football again. So, um, yeah, no, it's good fun. When you say again, I mean, you haven't played at the highest level for about 10 years, maybe a, a bit longer. Have you, I know. Have, did you fall out of love with football then? Uh, that was what was said. I think it was a difficult time for me because obviously at Tottenham, things didn't work out. And then I went over to Russia um, and then sort of my knee, knee went a bit manky and then it weren't working properly. Um, and then... I don't know, it sort of had my children and then wanted to sort of step away from the game. I think it was a quote that I said that I fell out of love with the game. I don't know whether I fell out of love with it. For a period, I potentially did, but, uh, you know, sort of it's, it's in my blood, football. I, I do love football and it sort of, it probably has reignited the love for it. But, uh, yeah, I did say a comment that I fell out of love with it. I probably never have. It's just I needed a sort of time away from the game and, Sort of, I don't know. Sort of got that buzz for it again. Yeah, we'll call it love for the game because it's a beautiful game, isn't it? I mean, Ben, you've obviously I've known you a long time from East Anglian days. Um, when we I were know, young young <laughs> kids. Is it nice to be back involved? And obviously, you're doing the the sports bar, which is a great show. Is is that something you yeah. want to do moving forward? Then maybe get involved it, more, maybe at media it coaching. Is. It is because I've sort of I've had ten years away from the game now. Sort of been involved in multiple businesses, the business world, and so on, and. Uh, and raising my children, they're all a little bit older now, and uh, it's something that I want, I want to get back into. Yeah, I think I can uh, have a good time doing it, and obviously, sort of be part of the footballing world. Obviously, talk sport and and uh, and football. But uh, yeah, no, 100 percent is something that I'm looking forward to. Now I'm getting an old man. I've got the grey hairs coming now, Bentley. Do you know what I mean? Mate, you had the grey hairs at Tottenham. <laughs> wait, wait, don't talk to me about Tottenham. My hair's looking mustard. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Your grey hairs are on the Lambo. <laughs> He's obviously joking there, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, of course he is. <laughs> no, no, Dave, no. David, who's, who's your team? You mentioned Spurs there. Of course, you play for Arsenal. Who is your team? Oh, that's a difficult question. It depends who's asking. I'm asking. <laughs> oh, you're asking. Yeah. Oh, I'm Tottenham then. You are, you are a Spurs fan, are you at heart? Well, no, to be honest, I sort of grew up... See, my family in Northern, they're all from uh, Manchester. My first ever shirt was a Rochdale shirt. My family are from Rochdale, believe it or not. Right. And then, when I was growing up, I sort of... I kept me, my old man come out of the RAF. We moved to sort of North London. First, to, my favourite player was Gaza. And, uh, you know, I loved him. And then first team I ever went and watched was Tottenham. All my mates were Tottenham fans. So I sort of... Had a love for Tottenham, but at 12 years old, I I went joined Arsenal and spent sort of uh, sort of eight or nine years there. So sort of in between, and they, you know, I was there every day. Um, so yeah, and no, I I've, I didn't grow up sort of with my old man saying that I was a Tottenham fan and going to the games every week, but sort of split between the two. Really, I do love both football clubs. I love them. See, I sit on the fence there. Okay. Uh, one thing I've always wanted to know, to you, you were the one who, who kicked the football in the face of Harry Redknapp in that interview. You also threw an ice bucket over Harry when they qualified yeah. for the Champions League. Uh, what, what's that about, the, the running banter with Harry? Do you get on with him? I'll tell you what, I was down in Bournemouth from last week. I was down seeing friends. I took all the family down there. Dirt all door, low off code. You better get down there. It's lovely. But I was in a restaurant in Bournemouth and I see Harry Redknapp, then I, in that restaurant. It's right in... Braxton Park or something like that. Yeah. But I was like Homer Simpson, you know, the gift when you go into the bush backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Kim's, Kim and my kids were like, you're not going to go and say hello? I went, no, I'm going to hide in the bush. Uh, but uh, yeah, I wasn't, I, f- I threw the water over him, but I wasn't the one that, that, that was the West Ham famous, um, you know, where he gets hit, hit in the face Did with you the not, ball. You but, didn't uh, kick a ball at him? Well. I might have tried a few times, but I missed. That's why I didn't pick me. <laughs> okay, well, listen, um, I, I can't wait till you're on I alongside Jamie to Howard tonight. I think that'd be a, a fun show to listen to. Uh, what time yeah. are you getting to talk sport to prepare for that show? You're on at 10. 
Yeah, no, I've got my notes ready, uh, full sort of item my spreadsheet, and I'll be ready for. I'll be there at eight o'clock on the dot. Wow, sort of okay. prepare for the ten o'clock show. Oh, yeah. Harold doesn't get into about five to ten. You know that, don't you? Oh, uh, does he? Oh, well, I'll join him in the pub then. I get there for five to ten then. <laughs> I definitely can't wait for tonight's show. Dave, listen, all all the best for it, um, and Thank you. Uh, enjoy it. It'll be great fun. I will do. I will do. Take care. Okay, Dave. Nice Thanks, on Ben. Right. There you go, David Bentley, who's on the sports bar tonight. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.